Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop on here real quick because two things. One, I did swatch this and I was going to give it to you guys, but I think I will just buy you guys a new one so that you still get a Smashbox Lippy, but like, you'd have a new one, a nice one. Um, but also, so I had looked it up. I looked up, is Smashbox Cosmetics cruelty free? And tons and tons of answers told me no. And then I'm on YouTube, and I'm watching some videos, and I watch some of my favorite beauty influencers, and two of them do only cruelty-free, but they have Smashbox Cosmetics. And I went, wait, I read that that wasn't cruelty-free. So I look it up again, and this time I go, is Smashbox Cosmetics cruelty-free 2018? <laughs> Sorry, my nose is a little stuffed up, but I, I felt this was important to share. Um, so when I look that up, apparently as of last year, 2017, they are cruelty free. Now, I'm not going to take anything out here. You guys still get this. It's unopened. Um, I don't... I have a pore filling primer that I really like by... Um, these are Trust Fun Beauty or the Beauty Crop. Trust Bun Beauty. And, uh, I don't need it. However, I do like the Radiance one, which I was going to give to my friends and family because I thought it wasn't pretty free. But now I found out it is. So, I'm going to try some more Smashbox stuff. And I'm going to get you guys a new lipstick because I did swatch this one and I simply would rather give you one that's unopened and hasn't, like, touched my skin or anything. So, uh, that's a little update with that. I just wanted to pop on real quick and tell you guys that, that, that I had found that out. So, um, when you're looking up if stuff is cruelty free, if it matters to you, make sure to type in the year because otherwise it'll come up with all the old stuff and you might not be getting accurate information. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I hope it's great. I hope it's grand and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.